Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This will be my third time trying to record this video. Sorry, my phone, like I'm on my phone, so this is gonna be a really long video. Um, and it keeps saying it's like full, so I had to go and delete a bunch of things. Anyway, I am here to talk to you guys about the pharmacist daughter. Um, you guys know that I love this company, um, this vendor, mom and daughter, Kim and Ansley Holcomb. They are just great people that are out there in the world doing great things. Um, I wrote down some notes that I want to tell you guys really quickly because once again, this is going to be a really long video. So I just want to get to the sense because that's what's the most important thing. Um, they're restocked. They're going to be having a restock this week, May 13th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 40 new blends are going to be involved, including one charity blend. Let me tell you about what they told me about this blend. Um, it's going to be called um, Halley. And um, so two blends actually are going to be going towards this cause, Halley, and then also a blend called Pretty in Pink. 100% of these proceeds of this month's charity blend will be donated to the Ronald McDonald House Charities in Sacramento, California, in remembrance of the precious daughter of one of our dear friends here in the WAX community. More of Halley's story will be coming later, but they do state that they're, they're not going to share details of this story because it's not theirs to tell. It wasn't their child. It wasn't their family member which I respect very much. Um, and she just says her family can choose to share if they'd like to. So obviously, and that's very kind of them. Um, they just reminding, just so you guys know, because some people really take these things into consideration, um, how healthy waxes and scent is and hormonal disruptors are and all these things. Their wax is made um, of high quality, paraffin free, phthalate free, cruelty free ingredients, not only ingredients, but their processes as well. Um, there, as always, there's something for everybody in their restocks. Their restocks are huge. Um, this one's really cool because it's based on the 1980s. I am a baby of the 80s, um, a child of the mid 80s. Um, I'm getting up there, guys. <laughs> and so I'm really excited for these blends and to talk about them. Um, they they did make a note, and I do want to talk about this. Um, they have a new website, or at least, at least a revamped website that they... Um, talked about on their Instagram. And it's really cool if you want to go take a look at it, make an account so that it's faster um, when you sign out and make your order. Um, they do now have Afterpay with PayPal. They also have uh, made a box on their website when you make an order that you can make notes in there and you can choose, you have to now choose to ask for like a shipping slip with your uh, order information on it because they're not going to automatically do it anymore. You will get an email obviously with all of your um, order on it, but in order to save planet, save paper, all those kinds of things, um, they're not going to automatically put a paper slip in your order, but you can choose to have that there. And you can also now uh, make notes in a box when you make your order. Um, so I think those are all the little things I wanted to tell you guys about. Um, just in case they're not in this box, because I purposely did not smell anything. These are all going to be like complete first time, you know, opinions. Um, they did say they're going to be including a few items in their last RTS that were really popular. Graphite type, clean shave. So good. Sunbathing, cotton, cotton blossom, and rainbow taffy. So those are going to be back from their last RTS. Um, and I think that's everything that... Uh, I need to cover here. Okay, let's get to the scents, you guys. I did open them just so it's kind of easier for me, um, but I have not smelled anything. Okay, so the first thing up, uh, I wanted to talk about this one first because they did have this on one of their Instagram videos. This is Like a Virgin, the Madonna song. Um, candy, apple, raspberry, red currant, cashmere musk, and orange lemon. Or is it orange and lemon? Sorry. And this... I love the color of this. Um, let me take it out. I've got to get through these quickly because there's no way I'm going to get this all in one video. This, mm. I get actually the cashmere musk the most. This is a like body care-ish, like it's kind of like a body care skin scent. Yeah, I get cashmere musk the most, then probably a little red currant. Then orange and apple. The candy apple is not very strong in here. There's something uh, very like familiar in here. But it's kind of body care-esque. Like a fruity floral body care. Oh gosh, it smells good. Um, it smells very strong. Um, if, if it pops into my head what it smells like, I will let you guys know. 
The next one is called MTV. Oh, how different MTV used to be. The notes in this one are margarita, white cake, and buttercream frosting. Ooh, I'm excited for this one. I feel like there's been such a lack of margarita scents this spring and summer wax season so far. Okay, this is good. Okay, so this is mostly a margarita scent. I This is like 90% margarita with just a touch of white cake. I'm not getting much buttercream frosting. This is a very strong, almost fizzy, limey margarita scent. So good. I'm so glad they made this. Look, at it kind of looks like, look how pretty that looks. Or not pretty, almost spooky. It almost looks like blood on there, like a Halloween melt. Yeah, very strong margarita scent with a little bit of white cake. That's MTV once again. I like that. Okay, these shapes that she does are so cute. This is called The Breakfast Club. Uh, Starbucks coffee, ice cream scoop bread, and sweet and creamy. And this is her like little like waffle melt shape with like a scoop of whipped cream or something on it. <laughs> this is very sweet. Um, Starbucks coffee, ice cream scoop, shop, ice cream scoop bread, and sweet and creamy. This is a very sweet coffee blend. Like a very creamy, like heavy whipping cream sweet, almost caramelly coffee blend. Um, and that's called the Breakfast Club. That melt is so cute. Oh, this next one is so pretty, you guys. This is called Raspberry Tart. And it's black raspberry vanilla and pink sugar. I know a lot of people are liking that oil right now. Look at how pretty this tart is with these raspberries on it. Look at the color. Yeah, and so because it's those two, black raspberry vanilla and pink sugar, this smells like a very feminine, almost body care scent because <clears throat> black raspberry vanilla is a body care scent. It smells very girly. You definitely get the pink sugar in there though too. Like it's definitely, they're both there. Almost equally. Raspberry tart. Look how pretty. I can't get over these colors. I love that. Um, so yeah, it smells like the body lotion from Bath and Body Works mixed with pink sugar. Exactly. Like almost 50, 50 to my nose. Um, how that's coming out. Okay. Next up is blueberry muffin. This is blueberry and tea and cake. Oh, yum. So this blueberry. So, wow. I'm not a huge blueberry fan, but this blueberry smells like the blueberry that in bakery blends I like. Like it smells like the Jiffy, like the blueberry muffin mix where it's kind of like those fake little candy blueberries that I are like a guilty pleasure for me. I actually get the blueberry stronger than the tea and cakes. Is that so crazy? Tea and cakes is such a strong oil. It's definitely blueberry and tea and cakes. Um, that's exactly what it smells like. So that's great. It smells like the Jiffy Blueberry Mix, which I like. <laughs> um, next up, I'm going to show you guys this like little pie slice, I guess. It's called Huckleberry Pie. Grapefruit, lemon lime, lollipop, and cotton candy. Interesting. It's called Huckleberry Pie, but it doesn't have any berry in it. But look how pretty. Hmm. I'm honestly not smelling much. Maybe like a little bit of lollipop. And maybe a tiny bit of lemon lime. This might need to cure. But also it's just interesting. I'm wonder I'm honestly wondering if the wrong notes were put on here because these notes are not like Huckleberry Pie notes. I'm gonna have to ask um Kim. So hold off on this one, you guys. I will put a comment in the box below once I clarify. I'll set this one aside because it looks like a huckleberry pie melt, but the notes don't match it and it doesn't smell like huckleberry pie either. So we'll see what happens there. This is gorgeous. This is called strawberry shortcake and the notes on this are strawberry pound cake, glazed donuts, and vanilla ice cream. Let me show you this, you guys. I love her little berry molds. Look at the little strawberries. Ugh, and this basket is like hefty. Oh, God. That, oh, that smells good. Definitely strawberry pound cake and vanilla ice cream. I get a tiny bit of like fried dough, but not much. This is just a really, 
Oh gosh, my mouth's watering. I'm like a really good bakery strawberry pound cake. Creamier and cold almost with that vanilla ice cream. And the glazed donut's kind of in the background, but it is there. So it kind of like makes strawberry pound cake more delicious is what that smells like. Plus the shape is adorable. Are those all my big, oh, one more big shape, I think. Yes, oh yes. This is called Lime Chiffon, and this is Lime, Coconut, Buttermint, and Vanilla Waffle Cone. I have no idea how this is gonna smell. It's in this really cute, like, wedding cake almost shape, right? Wedding cake? Oh, interesting. With the mint, the, interesting. Lime Chiffon. The, it's in, the lime and the buttermint together, for some reason, makes this come off at, like, almost body care-ish. I know I keep saying that, but it does. I get like the buttermint just as much as I get the lime and coconut. Interesting. Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this one. Um, it smells like a lime and buttermint scent, which is very unique. This one I think is gonna be very different on warm. Um, but it almost comes off like body care, like a mint, lime, mint, coconut body care, like a mojito, like a creamy mojito body care almost is how the lime chiffon smells. Okay, next up I have this big bag of like smaller shapes. This first one is called I'll Be Right Here and it's passion fruit, sugared citrus, pink petal tea cakes, and amber. Ooh, that smells good. Okay, so I mostly get pink petal tea cake and amber. Look how pretty this is. Does this not remind you of like end of summer, beginning of autumn colors? This is a perfumey, like you get the rose from the pink petal tea cake and like a perfumey amber, like a more like mature woman perfume. I'll be right here. It smells like very comforting, kind of like a mom's perfume kind of smell, but not in a like granny way, not at all. This is like a, like definitely like you're a kid and you have a mom and she's wearing this perfume and it's comforting. Um, next up are her tiles. Um, and this is in Kit and Caboodle. Oh my goodness, <laughs> Caboodles. <laughs> uh, apple, jasmine, musk, amber, and berry, berry vanilla. <laughs> okay. The name with this scent reminds me so much of Caboodles. <laughs> This smells like you have you have your caboodle. Okay, sorry, if you don't know what a caboodle is. It's in the 80s and 90s, there were these, this brand called Caboodle. And it were, was like these containers that you would hold your body care stuff in, like a makeup box kind of, but I would put like my hair stuff in it, it like everything that I owned could fit in it at that time. This smells like the inside of a caboodle with like your, your hairspray and your body lotion and your nail polish and your makeup, like all broken down and <laughs> what's left in your caboodle, kind of. So it's apple, jasmine, musk, amber, and berry vanilla, like your chapsticks in there too. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, what a perfect name for this scent. It smells like me as a kid with my little belongings and my caboodle all mashed up together. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, next is Cabbage Patch Craze. And this is Vanilla Bean Noel and Orange Blossom. Yeah, it smells like Vanilla Bean Noel and Orange Blossom. It doesn't really remind me of Cabbage Patch at all, but look how pretty these tiles are, you guys. Oh, her Orange Blossom's really pretty. It's more orangey than it is floral to my nose, but like that jasmine ness is there too with Vanilla Bean Noel. This is definitely heavier on the orange blossom, but you get a very much a vanilla creaminess too. Cabbage Patch craze. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, Purple Rain. Oh, these names, you guys are killing me. Fresh Linen and Driftwood. Ooh, yes, this is a Danny scent. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Yes, yes, yes. Gosh, that's good. Fresh Linen. There's almost like a rain note in here too. It's almost like a somewhat aquatic, woodsy, fresh linen. Oh man, that's good. 
That is like driftwood and fresh laundry in the ocean almost. And that's called purple rain. Oh, that's good. Ooh, another big shape here. This is called Royal Wedding. Butter mints, vanilla bean noel, and cuppy cake. At some point, I want to smell cuppy cake oil by itself. Mmm, oh, yes. Um, this is a beautiful bunt. That does smell very royal. That is a very vanilla bean noel cuppy cake. That cup, I must really like that cuppy cake oil then. And butter mints. This smells like the most decadent vanilla cake with like a vanilla buttercream that has butter mint like oil in the buttercream frosting. I'm going to need more of that. This is the perfect name, Royal Wedding. This is very, very vanilla buttercream with butter mint. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And if you have had their butter mint oil before, you know how minty and good it is. Very creamy. So good. Love that one. Okay, and last one in this bag. Oh, look at these shapes, you guys. Does that not remind you of 4th of July? Ah, there's a little boom box. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's called I Love Rock and Roll. Skittles, cotton candy frosting, mixed berry, and citrus. Oh, yeah, it's definitely Skittles, mixed berry, and citrus. I don't get much cotton candy frosting. That's always kind of like a background scent. I have to take this boom box out to show you guys. Look how cute. Sorry, my light's kind of bright, so it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, this is Skittles, mixed berries, and citrus. Just like a really fun kind of candy scent. Oh, those that is so freaking cute. I love those shapes. Okay, this next bag is much bigger. Let me just make sure I didn't leave anything else in there. Okay. I'm going to go quick, guys. These are her beautiful... Oh, I love these bars that vendors do. Um, this is in True Colors. I love that song. Himalayan sea salt, bergamot, jasmine, oak moss, and thyme. Mm. Ooh, masculine. Masculine cologne. But I love it. <laughs> Very masculine cologne. I definitely get the bergamot and the oak moss the most. Definitely, uh, yeah, you're going to have to like masculine cologne scents to like this one called True Colors. It's a very fresh masculine cologne. I, I personally like that a lot. Next one is shoulder pads. <laughs> oh, my mom used to try to make me wear shoulder pads when I was a kid um, with poof socks and curled back, curled forward, fluffed bangs, and I hated her for it. <laughs> Aquatic florals, sea moss, and ozone. Oh my gosh, so freaking funny. Shoulder pads. <laughs> This smells like, first of all, it smells really good because it's aquatic floral, sea moss, and ozone. But this is like the ozonic part of a hairspray that you would have worn when you wore shoulder pads. This is on the lighter side, but it definitely is a very gentle, ozonic, aquatic floral. It's mostly ozonic and very just gentle. I love that it's called shoulder pads. Okay, next. Oh, look at this. These colors. This is called Moonwalk. American Cream and Vanilla Bean Noel. This one's very light. But those aren't like super strong oils. I mostly get American Cream. Mm, I love American Cream though. I get just a touch, like a, a touch of that. Vanilla Bean Noel. This mostly smells like American cream, but Michael Jackson Moonwalk. Yeah, that smells good. Um, I have quite a few blends that I melt often in my home that have American cream in them. So it kind of smells like all of those combined. Um, this next one's called Sunbathing. Um, suntan Lotion Cocoa Butter Cashmere. Let me take this out because I love the colors. Look at that. Have I smelled this before? Mmm. Suntan lotion, cocoa butter, cashmere. This is very creamy. That cocoa butter cashmere is very cashmere-y. So this ends up being a creamier, fluffier suntan lotion. It's not like the more... I Listen, I like all versions of suntan lotions. But this is not that screechier floral suntan lotion. Like it's not um, like a Bobbi Brown Beach suntan lotion, which I love that too. 
This is the creamier, more, not vanillic, but literally like body cream kind of scent uh, type of lotion. So it's not sunblock, it's sun tan lotion and cocoa butter cashmere. So it smells, it's more creamy and gentle, but this still smells very strong. Ooh, I love this color. Uh, graphite type. So she, okay, so she did include these. Bergamot, lemon, leather, and tonka bean. Ugh. Just, just let me die. Yep. My husband has this cologne. I bought it for him. And it's very bergamot-y. It's a very, um, like, citrus, clean, um, but very put-together, tailored kind of bergamot, citrusy cologne scent. Uh, and there is, you can smell that touch of leather in there too. I like it very much. It smells like a very put together man. Next is Working Woman. This is Mulberry, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Berry Vanilla. We'll see. I'm not usually a Mulberry fan. Huh. I can smell the Mulberry in there now. The Berry Vanilla helps to make the parts of Mulberry I don't like kind of blend out. And Vanilla Bean Noel. This is okay to me. I think someone else would really like it. Look at the color of this bar, you guys. Ugh. So, yeah. This smells like a creamy berry, vanilla, and mulberry. I think a lot of people really like it. If you like mulberry oil, you will like this. Because it, the other oils add to it and make it better. Just, I'm not a mulberry fan. I don't know why. I think there's something like in my past with that scent that turns me off to it. Ooh, a souffle in cotton blossom. Oh my goodness. If this is the Bath and Body Works type, it says sun-dried cotton and vanilla bean Noel. Let me just see before I go off. Oh my gosh. You guys, um, I have so many memories to Bath and Body Works cotton blossom type. Um, I think I've told you guys before in my videos, I was, a lot of my friends would wear like the fruity, sweet, stuff when I was a teenager and I always loved the fresh, fresh, fresh scent, fresh, fresh, fresh scents. And Cotton Blossom was like a staple of mine. I think this is her own take on it because it doesn't smell straight up like Cotton Blossom, but it's very similar. This smells so good. Sun-dried cotton and vanilla bean Noel. Yeah, because I can get that vanilla bean Noel and the, this is so good. Um, Oh my gosh. It's very similar to Bath and Body Works Cotton Blossom, but it's not quite. You can tell it's a house blend, but it's very similar to that. And this is so good. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, another souffle. Rainbow Taffy. Rainbow Sherbet, Saltwater Taffy, and Skittles. Oh, yeah. Rainbow Taffy is the perfect name for this. I'm just trying to see if these are... Um, layer just so I can show you but this not it's just a solid color it definitely smells like rainbow taffy skittles sherbet and saltwater taffy so I'm not much of a candy scent person like skittles does not excite me but I love the smell of rainbow sherbet a lot and that is it's kind of a good mix of those two I think there's one more souffle in here oh clean shave thank you barbershop and rosemary mint I went mad for this melt of theirs and I've, I've melted it all. Um, it's amazing. Um, if you like <laughs> Danny scents, um, this is like also one of those scents that's like, now that I've smelled this, I can just die. That's fine. <laughs> yep. Um, rosemary mint, a stronger on the rosemary mint, but definitely barbershop as well. The barbershop to me adds like an earthiness, a coziness, a powderiness to rosemary mint, and it makes it slight, it makes it more masculine, and I love it. Oh, these are cute. This is called Take a Chill Pill, and they're like little pill shapes. And this is lavender, rain, orange, jasmine, and violet. Oh wow. Oh what? This is not like any other like calm, relaxed, chill scent from another vendor. This, what is in here? There has to be a type of something in here. This is good. Um, this is like a lavender relax scent for people that don't like lavender. It's almost girly. Oh, I would wear this in a body scent. 
what this smells so familiar but like i haven't smelled it in a really long time lavender rain orange jasmine and violet oh this almost smells like a long time ago mary Kay had a perfume called um it was like a teen perfume it was kind of supposed to be like a play on clinique happy it was called velocity and it was this bottle that kind of sat upside down with an orange cap and it smells like that oh my gosh this is so good thank you for making this that was like a memory really good okay this next one is called heathers Avo Bath Rainbow Sherbet Cupcake Set Tiffany's. I guarantee I'm going to love this one. It's in her little snap bars. Um, I love Avo Bath or Avo Bath, I call it. Who knows which way you're actually supposed to say it. Oh, good. Okay. Avo Bath and Rainbow Sherbet are pretty strong in this, so it's a very citrusy scent. But the Cupcake Set Tiffany's definitely comes in and makes it, rounds it out and kind of makes it stronger. That's a very interesting. I wonder what Heather's is in reference to. I'm not sure. More snap bars. This is Meet Me at the Mall. <laughs> Pink lemonade and bum bum type. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. So this is one of those scents. So sometimes I struggle with bum bum because it's not super strong. And when it's blended with other things, sometimes it really gets lost. But every once in a while, I find a blend of bum bum type where the scent amplifies the bum bum type and <laughs> things are going to fall. This does that. There is definitely pink lemonade in here and definitely bum bum. And they're amplifying each other and making each other better. Meet me at the mall. Yes. Um, you know, the uh, hot dog on a stick. They're like lemonade stand at the mall. Like the lemonades that they make. The limeade and all that stuff. And then like bum bum type like Sephora and hot dog on a stick. <laughs> like meet me at the mall. Love it. Uh, more snap bars. This is our mixtape. Oh my gosh, these names, you guys. Fruit Loops, Citrus, Cherry, Marshmallow, and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. I'm not a cherry fan. This is so cute. This smells like Fruit Loops. I don't get a straight up cherry, but I can tell it's there. Like it's just making it more of a, a varietal fruit. This is so cute. It's like middle school. <laughs> this reminds you of being a kid in middle school. Um, oh my gosh. This is so cute. Um, Fruit Loops, a little bit of cherry, marshmallow, and just a touch of cupcakes at Tiffany's in the back. That makes it smell sweeter and rounder and more of a strong base to it. That's cute. Okay, some more snap bars. New Coke. It just says cola. I'm trying to. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay, you guys. This smells like cola. Okay, let me tell you though. that There is fizzy in here. But this smells like, you know how cola almost has like an earthiness to it? Almost a spice to it. Almost like a, like a, like a, like a. Not root beer, because so it's not root beery, but almost like a an earthy bite to it. You get that in here. Okay, you are gonna have to be like a legit cola scent lover to like this. That smells so strong. That is insane. That is insane. What? Okay, I have two more. Don't stop believing. Grapefruit, mango, ozone, soft musk, and salt air. Oh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so often mango will take over these scents. It doesn't here. Um, this is not salty sea air. Unless it is, but it's mixed with that ozone and musk, and so it makes it smell different. This is much more of like you're not in the water at the beach, but you're literally like on like the boardwalk more at the beach, and you're smelling people with their like sunscreen on. You're smelling that air that's coming in from the water. And people have like fruity, like a little bit of a fruity drink. This is like a fruity sunscreen, salt air, muskiness. It's more of a fresh scent, but there's touches of fruit in there. 
Definitely. So Don't Stop Believing is very much like you're riding a bike almost next to the ocean. And that fresh air is blowing in your face and you're kind of smelling people as you walk by with their like sunscreen and fruity things on. Definitely like freshness. That one's really fun. Very last one. This is Connect for Chamomile, Lavender, and Downy Blue. Yeah. So I'm getting mostly Downy Blue, but there's definitely Lavender and Chamomile as well. I wonder if they are trying to make this Connect for like you're sitting at the table playing family games. You might be wrapped in like a family blanket and you're just at home with your family and you smell like you're, you know, like laundry is being done kind of a thing and you're just at home chilling playing this game this is a laundry scent gosh that's good i'm actually downy blue is my least favorite downy but mixed with this lavender and chamomile this is good and this smell all of these are smelling extra strong um i mean her stuff their stuff already performs really well for me but this is like these all smell extra strong, except for that one pie slice. I'm going to have to get back to you guys on that. That one seems odd for them, but these are all crazy extra strong. Connect for, oh my gosh. Okay. Anyways, as you can tell, I just connect to all of these names and scents very much. They did a really great job of bringing these memories back for me. Um, this is going to be fun. <laughs> this is going to be so fun. Um, Thank you for listening to me, guys. I hope you're as excited about this as I am. The 80s just won't ever be forgotten. <laughs> I'm so happy that I was, you know, born in that decade. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a good day, doing well. Let me know what you're excited about here. Um, so fun. Anyway, we'll see you later. Bye.